Before using Chukka 11 Plus, there are some key concepts you need to grasp. Parents or tutors register first, and then they can add one or more students from within their parent or tutor account. Students must log into their accounts to do practice questions, tests, and virtual mocks, as well as play games or print worksheets. Students can play games and do practice questions immediately by clicking the Practice New Question button on their student dashboard, but tests and worksheets need to be printed or assigned to a student by their parent or tutor. All questions that a student answers incorrectly when doing practice questions or tests are added to their bank of retry questions, which they can try again at any time by clicking the Retry Questions button on their student dashboard. A free Core Skills Assessment is assigned to every new student automatically, and they will get 10 free practice questions daily for a week and one brain game. But to access all of the premium tests and downloads, you'll need to purchase 11 Plus Premium. Think of My 11 Plus as your main control centre. From here, you can manage every part of your student's 11 Plus preparation. When you first visit My 11 Plus, it will prompt you to add at least one student. For every student you add, a new student block will appear, showing you the student name, number, username, their recent performance, when they registered, and when they were last active. Below this, you'll see a set of summary buttons, giving you a quick glimpse of the student activity so far. Clicking each button takes you to more detailed information and further functionality for the individual student. If you have more than one student, you can also perform actions for multiple students. To do this, you must first select some students by clicking on their student blocks, then use the Actions button to perform actions such as assigning tests or viewing combined results for all of those students. Topics opens a screen that shows really useful performance metrics for your student. Performance data is broken down by question topic making it easy to identify areas that require improvement. Question Mix shows how many individual practice questions have been completed by the student. Clicking this button opens a screen that displays the student's question history in a color-coded grid layout to help you quickly visualize their performance. Tests shows you how many tests have been completed by the student. Clicking this button opens a screen where you can see test results or assign further tests to the student. Games shows you how many games have been completed by the student. Clicking this button takes you to a screen where you can view detailed game results as well as play the games. Parents and tutors can try out the games from their accounts just for fun, but we only store game results for students, so students must log into their own accounts to play the games if they want to keep a history of their scores. Downloads shows how many files have been downloaded. Clicking this button takes you to the screen where you can download files or assign them for the student to download, and see a history of your downloads for the selected student. Mocks shows how many mock exams have been booked for the student. Clicking this button takes you to a screen with more details about the booked mocks. Once mock exams have been completed, the results and further feedback will appear here. As always, please like this video and subscribe to the Chakra YouTube channel. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. We love hearing from you.